a school bus caught fire in New Orleans. The bus driver detected mechanical problems and pulled over just before the bus burst into flames. Fortunately, no children were present on the bus at the time and the driver emerged unharmed. Construction of tall buildings is a perilous endeavor. While those involved are likely accustomed to the risks, unexpected disasters can still occur. Consider the individual who narrowly escaped a fall from a great height. The exact location and time of this incident remains uncertain. It's likely that this incident occurred in a place with lax safety regulations, as the worker was operating perilously close to the edge without necessary safety equipment, such as a harness or safety net. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, would likely have serious concerns about this situation. Two workers were positioned near the edge when an incident caused one of them to lose balance and begin descending with the fallen object. Miraculously, he clung to the structure like an action hero, suspended hundreds of feet above the ground. His colleague rushed down and called for assistance, prompting the worker to take matters into his own hands. With remarkable agility, he skillfully maneuvered around the pillar and safely leapt to the next floor. Once on solid ground, he paced back and forth, likely reflecting on how this experience had altered his perspective on life. The object that pushed him over hit him in the head on the way down, but he didn't lose his grip. Observant Redditors commented on the worker's ridiculous climbing proficiency, noting that his gripping and navigational skills suggested a background in climbing. Those who have been in the world of gaming for a while might recall Sweet Tooth from the Twisted Metal series on PlayStation. This toy replica appears to mirror the madness of the clown character it was inspired by. Strangely, it exhibits peculiar behavior whenever its owner approaches it. Even though the remote control's batteries have been taken out, the toy continues to emit these strange sounds. The only plausible explanation I can think of is that the person who created this video may possess another car, and consequently, two controllers. Perhaps they removed the batteries from one controller and are employing a second remote as a prank. Otherwise, I'm completely baffled by how this phenomenon is occurring. On December 22, 2017, a news helicopter flying over Glendale, California captured a peculiar phenomenon in the sky. An enormous, inexplicable light engulfed the sky, steadily intensifying in brightness. However, the strangeness didn't end there. Within this luminous display, an even more mystifying occurrence unfolded. A mysterious, pulsating light emerged, rendering a news anchor incapable of describing what was unfolding before their eyes. This internal light altered its trajectory while extending itself across the expanse of the sky. This is something I've never seen. That is crazy. What is that? What is going on? Giving the impression that some sort of portal was manifesting over California. What is that? Subsequently, an explanation was provided, attributing the phenomenon to a space station launching satellites into orbit. Nevertheless, skepticism persists among many, as there was no official record of a scheduled satellite launch from the space station at that particular time. Considering the evidence, it raises doubts about whether this sighting truly corresponds with space satellites, leaving room for alternative, potentially more unsettling interpretations. The Biman Bangladesh Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner executes a rapid takeoff and an exceptionally steep ascent. Following this steep initial climb, the pilot lowers the aircraft's nose to regain airspeed and prevent a stall. This residence harbors a malevolent entity, and the YouTube team from the Paranormal Nightmare TV series embarks on an investigation to uncover the sinister presence within. While inside the governor house, they suddenly become aware of a noise emanating from behind them. 
What the f Oh. Oh my Did you hear that? That door handle moved. Hello? They summon the demon, requesting it to establish communication with them. Can you set one of our devices off? Whoa! Oh. Loud thump back there, Sean, with you. What? Loud thump back here with you. Hello? Simultaneously, their equipment registers an unusual signal, coinciding with a loud thud. Here is another perspective on the same incident. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Loud thump back there, Sean, with you. What? Loud thump back here with you. Hello? Later on, Sean enters a room that fills him with unease, and then an unexpected event occurs. This is a room I really do not like. Clothes in here. Oh! Okay. Thank you. It appears as if either a toy or a paranormal device activated through a linked apparatus they make attempts to engage with the spirits dwelling within that space. Just did. Put your hand out, Josh. Can you reach up and touch Josh's hand? <laughs> Undoubtedly, something resides in this house, whether it be a demon or simply a disgruntled poltergeist and it is adamantly clear that this entity is determined to expel them. This clip begins abruptly, showing that this traffic stop doesn't unfold as anticipated. This all happened Wednesday afternoon, starting on Joseph E. Boone Boulevard. The police initiated a routine stop, but the driver had different intentions. He accelerated swiftly, refusing to yield to their authority, and his driving becomes somewhat erratic as he speeds away. Only a power line obstructs his path which he collides with, causing it to topple and eject him from the car. Seizing the opportunity, he makes a run for it, as is often the case in such situations, attempting to flee the scene. However, his attempts to escape on foot were short-lived, as the pursuing officers swiftly catch up with him and apprehend him. The driver then got out and tried to escape on foot, but was arrested after a short chase. Upon conducting a more thorough investigation, the officers also discover a stolen firearm in possession of the suspect, adding an additional layer of concern to his already unpredictable and erratic behavior. This revelation sheds some light on the motive behind his desperate attempt to evade the authorities. This video immediately plunges us into a tense situation, as we witness a bear already on a ladder attempting to reach a man, albeit without success, initially. After its first failed attempts, the bear retreats, giving the impression that the man may have thwarted it. Mansur. Mansur. However, the situation takes a grim turn for the man when the bear decides to take a second attempt to climb the ladder and reach the stranded hiker. This time, it employs a different strategy, attempting to destabilize the man by tugging at the ladder. In the harrowing moments that ensue, the bear succeeded in its efforts. Unfortunately, the clip concludes at this point, leaving us in suspense as to the outcome of this intense encounter. In Pennsylvania's small South Park Township, a persistent local legend has emerged from the real-life disfigurement of one man, centered around an eerie tunnel. Unlike many folk tales, this legend is rooted in factual events. Participants from the YouTube channel Full Car decided to explore this tunnel in the middle of the night both acknowledging the unsettling nature of their journey. All right, well, we made it. This place looks creepy as hell, but on some weird ass turf. Upon entering the tunnel, they encounter a plethora of graffiti before ascending for a better view. After examining some unusual salt deposits above, they sit quietly, straining to detect any eerie sounds within the tunnel. 
Towards the end of their video, one of the individuals starts taking photographs, leading them to notice another ghostly figure in the background, resembling the Green Man, after whom the tunnel is named. It's a fucking... Take picture right now. Yeah, send it right down here. Send it right down here. The Green Man, also known as Charlie No-Face, was an electrical worker who suffered a facial injury in a fatal accident. It is said that his ghost haunts one of Pennsylvania's abandoned railroad tunnels, with the South Park Township Tunnel being a popular location for witnessing his spectral, green-tinged form during late-night visits. This individual finds herself in a frighteningly perplexing situation. A bear has taken a seat on her porch while she desperately attempts to call for assistance. Interestingly, it turns out that the bear had no malicious intentions as it starts inspecting a garbage bag, perhaps with the intent of carrying it away. However, this doesn't eliminate the potential threat the bear poses. Suddenly, an unexpected turn of events occurs. The woman's defender emerges and confronts the massive bear head on. The cat maintains a menacing stare, and the bear appears genuinely startled. What unfolds next is nothing short of amazing. It appears that the woman should be expressing her gratitude to her guardian angel, or rather, her courageous cat. During their overnight stay at the Stanley Hotel, YouTuber The Fine Print experiences a spine-tingling incident. Take a look. Colby, uh, one of the biggest paranormal duos on YouTube, have come and stayed in this very room twice. And those are some of their most watched videos because of the crazy things that have happened in here. You can clearly see the door moving. Is there something inside? And there's nothing in here. After opening the door and finding nothing, it makes you wonder what might be present. I believe it could be due to a draft, but I can't be certain. Considering the rich history of horror associated with the Stanley Hotel, it's challenging for me to explain this phenomena as anything other than something paranormal. This video is quite dim, making it challenging to discern details. Nevertheless, as the original poster, YouTuber Nathaniel Channel navigates through the darkness. He comes across a fence. Peering through the fence, he spots the silhouette of a woman in the distance, who appears to be crying inconsolably. He cautiously follows the sound for a brief period, observing the weeping figure from a safe distance. Nathaniel speculates that it might be La Llorona from Mexican folklore, a vengeful spirit known to wander waterfront locations, lamenting the children she's drowned. While the figure remains distant, it aligns with the description of a sorrowful woman wandering aimlessly. Towards the end of the video, as he approaches closer, the haunting cries of the woman resonate throughout the area, prompting Nathan to retreat by retracing his steps and climbing back over the fence. Tonight, we have an exclusive video showing a group of burglars in Patterson, New Jersey, stealing multiple cases of gold jewelry from a store. The owners, who have been in business for a long time, express their growing concern for their safety as the suspects remain at large. At around 4.30 a.m. last Wednesday, exclusive surveillance footage reveals the perpetrators lifting the gates of the Ramadad Jewelry Company. One of them covers a ring camera while another carefully breaks the glass of the front door. These masked individuals, dressed in construction vests and safari hats, quickly enter the store and proceed to ransack it, including another display case and some belts. Manager Nancy Ramadan states that they made off with over $1.5 million worth of gold. All my rings, and then they took everything that was in here. It was heavier stuff. This is over 300 grams alone. 
Additionally, there are residents living behind the business, and the video shows that the burglars locked a gate to prevent anyone from entering or leaving the area. The family residing nearby heard the store's alarms go off and waited for the police, but the truck used by the burglars escaped. Ramadan mentions that, although the police reviewed the surveillance video, they did not collect any evidence. Furthermore, she claims that the detective assigned to the case has not responded to their calls or text messages since Friday. We are doing more investigating than the cops are. In response, a spokesperson for the Patterson police issued a statement indicating that officers reviewed the video at the scene and continued to follow investigative leads. The department asserts that the police response was appropriate and mentions that the department, which has recently come under state management, is committed to rebuilding public trust and maintaining a strong focus on customer service. A perplexing video clip of uncertain origins has emerged, igniting curiosity and conjecture among its viewers. This particular version, posted on YouTube channel D's Dark Adventures, depicts an otherworldly entity encountered by a jogger in a secluded, mountainous rural setting. As the camera focuses on the path ahead, a peculiar dark creature can be observed crouching on the trail. As the footage unfolds, the creature's appearance grows increasingly more unusual, leaving viewers puzzled by its form. Despite the video's widespread sharing on various social media platforms, nobody has definitively pinpointed the creature's identity. Its peculiar presence in the remote location has generated a range of theories, spanning from it being an undiscovered animal species to a creature drawn from folklore or even an extraterrestrial entity. As long as additional information remains elusive, or until someone can conclusively determine the creature's identity, the true nature of this mysterious being continues to be the subject of speculation and fascination. Continuing with enigmatic entities, an unsettling occurrence transpired during a picturesque tram journey in rural Indonesia, leaving both tourists and observers terrified and perplexed. This disconcerting incident documented on video and shared on TikTok by the user Bistrafanor, has attracted substantial attention and generated a slew of conjectures. According to reports, the tram driver had to halt the ride when they spotted an unidentified black silhouette. Here's what the camera captured. A state of panic overtakes the tourists, as they can be seen fleeing and shrieking. In a spine-chilling moment, an obscure black form is observed ascending from the tram tracks and vanishing into the foliage. Witnesses assert that this shadowy entity emitted an eerie laugh before leaping into the forest, further intensifying the fear and apprehension of those witnesses. The video records the frightening responses of the onlookers, underscoring that something genuinely unusual and alarming occurred. However, the genuine nature of this entity remains shrouded in mystery. The episode has given rise to a range of hypotheses among online viewers, with some proposing that the figure might be a known animal, while others entertain notions of it being a supernatural being or even a staged event. Despite the myriad theories, no one has positively identified the figure or provided a rational explanation for this bizarre incident. Recently, the YouTuber known as Work Less, Enjoy Life More uploaded a video sharing an eerie encounter during a road trip. The story unfolds as the YouTuber decides to camp for the night, only to experience a series of increasingly unsettling events. While in the process of setting up camp, he is startled by the sound of a woman's screams coming from deep within the woods. Driven by curiosity and concern, he ventures into the area, growing increasingly convinced that someone is lurking in the forest.
Feeling unnerved by an unknown presence, he hastily retreats to his van. The situation takes a more distressing turn when he hears what appears to be a gunshot. While taking shelter inside the van, he is suddenly met with a knock at the door. To compound his anxiety, the alarm for the van's rear bay door is triggered by motion, indicating that someone may be attempting to break into the vehicle. The bay door open. The identity and intention of the mysterious intruder remains shrouded in uncertainty, leaving viewers wondering just how far this enigmatic figure is willing to go. During a live news broadcast, Southern California was jolted by a seismic event of considerable magnitude, registering at 7.1 on the Richter scale. The impact of this powerful earthquake was vividly captured on camera and the news anchors found themselves in the midst of intense and sustained tremors. We're, we are experiencing quite a bit of shaking. If you'll mm -hmm. give us a brief moment here, we're mm -hmm. making sure that nothing is going to come down in the yeah. studio here. And it is going for uh, quite a bit, everybody. I, it continues it, it, this is to, a very strong to rattle earthquake. pretty strong here. 821 here on the air. We're experiencing very strong shaking. Wow. I think we need to get under the desk. All right, we're going to go to break. Faced with this dramatic and hazardous situation, the news anchors halted their broadcast and sought shelter beneath their desks as a precautionary measure, in hopes that they wouldn't be harmed. Which horror movie is currently being screened at the Haunted Theater in Indiana? The YouTube team, Tommy Amongst the Tombstones, decided to investigate the historic Fowler Theater, a place where many claim to have heard voices from beyond, and where security cameras have recorded mysterious events like the one you just saw. It's believed that the restroom is a particularly active area. As they step inside, they begin to hear peculiar sounds. What? Including that distinctive knock once again. In another area of the theater renowned for its haunting, their paranormal equipment starts going haywire responding to questions from the team. Give us a sign that you're up here still. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Right on command. <laughs> Did you used to work here? Projector. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. Thank you. Thank you so much. It seems like the spirit they're communicating with doesn't mind their persistent inquiries. Where the projection is? If that's how you say it, I think that's how you say it. Projection is? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Even near the projectionist station, later, while they're walking through the theater room, something unusual flies over their heads as they enter one of the rows. What could that be? If it turns out to be the spirit of a former theater employee or patron, I wouldn't be surprised. From my perspective, there's too much activity happening in this theater to question its authenticity. Nanning, situated in Guangxi, Zong, China, serves as both the capital and the largest city in the region, housing approximately 8.7 million residents. On May 27, 2023, an incident of great fortune occurred involving a tuk-tuk driver. While navigating a side street, 
the driver unknowingly passed by an aging brick wall that teetered on the brink of collapse. This wall, which you can see on the left side of your screen, has visibly deteriorated over the years due to exposure to rain and wind. Despite its construction dating back to the 1960s, its demise was inevitable in 2023. As the tuk-tuk driver proceeds down the road, he drove past the vulnerable wall. In a moment captured on camera, it appears that a slight gust of wind occurred as he passed by. Remarkably, this gentle breeze proved to be sufficient to topple the wall, narrowly avoiding a potentially catastrophic accident involving the driver. From an alternative perspective, you can observe that the driver was approximately 20 feet away from the wall when it collapsed. Local reports indicate that the wall's collapse resulted from years of neglect and inadequate maintenance. The tropical climate in eastern China, characterized by strong winds and monsoons, takes its toll on aging brick walls, limiting their lifespan. Typically, people express their dissatisfaction with customer service by lodging a complaint when they've had an unpleasant experience. Nevertheless, the lady featured in this video opted for a different approach. Following a dispute with Starbucks employees, she resorted to removing the grab-and-go food from the counters and hurling it all onto the floor. Instead of using verbal communication to convey her grievances, she chose this disruptive method. Once she had scattered all the food across the floor, she hastily fled the Starbucks, leaving behind a considerable mess for the staff to clean up. Some people just have no regard for others. On a surveillance camera in East Idaho, a man was caught going through a woman's clothes, even though he doesn't know her. He starts going through her clothes one by one and takes them all out before anyone sees him. He puts on a reflective vest and grabs a soft drink because maybe his mouth was dry from all that sneaking around. Later, the woman realized that all her laundry was missing. When they check the footage, there isn't much he can say to defend himself. I couldn't find out what decision was made about his guilt or innocence, but based on the CCTV video, it seems like he might be guilty. Next, he should be closely watched for a long time to make sure he doesn't do something like this again. While on a hiking trail, an unexpected and rather unsettling encounter befell this individual as he came face to face with an agitated cougar that seemed less than pleased by his presence. In response to this unnerving situation, the hiker maintained a cautious approach, steadily retreating while vocally expressing his desire for the cougar to disengage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Despite the initial tension and the cougar's evident discomfort, fortune favored the man, and the big cat ultimately gave up pursuit, allowing the hiker to continue on his path and live another day. Authorities are actively seeking a pair of burglars who were captured on surveillance cameras targeting a Wendy's. Fortunately, their attempt at thievery proved futile as they left empty-handed. This particular Wendy's is located at the intersection of West Commercial and 31st Avenue. Interestingly, their objective was not to pilfer beef patties, but to swiftly break in and exit, exhibiting remarkable speed akin to the efficiency of most fast food services, pun unintended. In less than a minute, they escaped the premises without securing their intended loot. Surveillance footage reveals them executing their operation with a level of stealth reminiscent of ninjas. This happened just before 4 a.m., as security cameras recorded the duo gaining access through the restaurant's rear door in Oakland Park. Once inside, they were equipped with tools to pry open the door leading to the office, which was situated behind the kitchen. Their actions displayed a sense of purpose and familiarity with the layout, suggesting that their objective was anything but beef-related. One of the individuals dismantled the alarm system, while the other made an attempt to force open the safe, which, fortunately, remained impervious. Consequently, the two would-be thieves fled the scene with nothing to show for their efforts, not even a frosty dessert. Detailed descriptions of the suspects included one individual who faced the camera directly and wore distinctive shoes adorned with orange streaks. Speculation arose regarding the possibility of their familiarity with the Wendy's, perhaps as former employees. When inquired, the restaurant staff refrained from commenting. Police are seeking assistance from the public to apprehend the criminals involved in the incident, which occurred precisely two weeks ago. If anyone recognizes them, they are encouraged to contact BSA at 
493-TIPS. It's important to note that providing information leading to an arrest could result in a reward. The individuals here wearing menacing masks are the armed assailants responsible for the fatal shooting of a store clerk in a gas station in Houston, Texas. Following their heinous act, they fled the scene in a black sedan. This is horrible. This man, 29 years old, came to this country for a better life and he gets gunned down for it. It's not right. In the footage, one of the assailants is seen brandishing a silver handgun aimed at the cashier. It remains unclear which of the criminals perpetrated the shooting that resulted in the cashier's death. Nevertheless, police have initiated a manhunt for these individuals and also announced a reward for anyone providing valuable information. We will not let them get away with it. We are coming after you. The crime scene is currently secured with police tape and both friends of the cashier and authorities are present, diligently searching for any potential evidence to aid in their investigation. Just walking around, I can hear them walking around the van. Lisa, also known as Asleep Five Decades on YouTube, has recently recounted a series of terrifying incidents she encountered during her solo van life adventures across North America while documenting her road trips. In these unsettling situations, Lisa found herself dealing with some strange men. The first of these incidents took place in February of 2022, when Lisa was peacefully asleep in her van at 4.30 a.m. Somebody's back here again. I hear footprints. Hello? How can I help you? She was abruptly awakened by a tapping on her van door, accompanied by an unfamiliar voice asking her a question. Hello? How can I help you? It's 4.30 in the morning. I don't feel safe. Who are you? When she looked out of her window, Lisa noticed headlights in the distance. You can see it's like headlights, and then they backed out and went to the left. So, I'm not feeling so safe. To her growing unease, she heard even more footsteps surrounding her van about 10 minutes later. I hear footprints. You're not. The following morning, she discovered sets of footprints in the snow, encircling her campsite. Look at this one. This is mine. I'll show you. There's mine. See? Right here. Look. These are like literally footprints. I never go there. In another distressing occurrence, Lisa recounted an encounter with a man who approached her van. So he goes in front of the van and I see him, you know, forever still trying to figure out this Google tra or this translation or trying to figure out a way to communicate with me. Despite struggling with English, he attempted to engage her in conversation and persistently lingered around her vehicle for an uncomfortably extended period. So after, I think it was maybe half an hour, I hadn't been at least that long, trying to figure out how to communicate with me. Well, he gets in his car, he drove his car and kept on parking it differently in front of my van, beside my van, but he kept on moving it like, and I was just creeped right out. I just... The man was later observed hiding in the bushes during a rainstorm. He repeatedly maneuvered his car back and forth, parking directly in front of Lisa's van, seemingly trying to capture her attention. Please leave. Please leave, you sketchy, sketchy, sketchy person. Please leave. Look at that. He's really scaring me. In yet another eerie episode, Lisa shared how a man operated a remote control car around her van at 1 a.m., further heightening her distress. Fortunately, 
these encounters didn't escalate any further. Nevertheless, these disconcerting real-time experiences serve as a stark reminder of the potential risks and challenges faced by solo travelers, especially women. Please leave. Please leave, you sketchy, sketchy, sketchy person. Please leave. Look at that. He's really scaring me. Family Z embarks on an adventure to explore a supposedly haunted tunnel, believed to be the final resting place of a person who vanished many years ago. As they journey deeper into the dark abyss, they start to perceive a presence nearby. While it's possible that this video could be staged, a thorough viewing leaves one with the impression that it genuinely depicts two individuals exploring. While it remains uncertain whether it's a fabrication or perhaps an encounter with an unknown individual, the family wisely chose not to take any risks and promptly exited the tunnel. A clever choice in my opinion, because messing around in a haunted tunnel is exactly how people go missing. Using a gas stove for cooking has advantages and disadvantages. Advocates often highlight its ability to expedite the cooking process and offers greater control over heat levels. However, it's important to acknowledge the potential risks involved. Exemplified by an incident in Fuzhou, China on December 6, 2019. During the preparation of dinner, a mother experienced a pot catching fire and she immediately took action. Her initial attempt to turn off the gas encountered unexpected difficulties. This incident imparts two crucial lessons. Never leave a stove unattended and promptly evacuate if you detect the presence of gas. Fortunately, the mother and child escaped in the nick of time, and it appears that the fire didn't escalate. Interestingly, according to statistics from the National Fire Protection Association NFPA, electric stoves are responsible for 2.5 times more fires than gas stoves and cause 5 times more injuries. This discrepancy can be attributed to the likelihood that individuals exercise greater caution around open flames. Many electric stove-related injuries likely result from inadvertently touching hot surfaces that no longer appear visibly hot. On December 13, 2022, Demetrius Flannery Jr., known for his role in 50 Cent's BMF crime series and as rapper Little Meech, found himself in a potentially troublesome situation at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. Police footage captured the moment when Flannery was discovered with a Glock 19 inside his carry-on bag during a routine security scan, leading to an immediate display of panic on his part. What's that? It looks like there's firearms in it. Sir, listen, I swear to God, I did not that bag. That's my little brother's bag. Give me a second. I'll give it to you. I have to not read it. Sir, listen, I swear to God, sir. In a bid to explain the situation, Flannery engaged with the TSA agent, claiming that his security personnel had inadvertently left the gun in his bag. He initially claimed to be a minor, despite being 22 at the time, and he cooperated fully as he was handcuffed and the matter was scrutinized. His first instinct in this stressful scenario was to call his mother for guidance. Sir, my ID's in my bag. In the bag? Yes, I'm a, sir, listen, I'm a minor, sir. I have security guards. They left that in my bag, sir. I did not okay. pack my bag. Well, we can get that all straightened out Please, after the fact, okay? okay thank you. But, but until then, I have to put you in handcuffs until we figure this out. Okay. Okay, you call, understand that? Can I call my mom or somebody? We'll, we'll do that after. Okay. All right, just turn around for me. Be cooperative. Everything's on video and, and audio surveillance. Plus, I'm on body cam. You understand that? Sure, yes, I understand. Okay. I'm just, this is just for your safety and everybody else around you because there's guns involved, okay, or possible guns. We have to confirm it. Okay, x-ray doesn't tell us 100%, okay, just as there's a possibility, and that's what it appears to be. You understand? Do you have anything else on you at this point? No, I promise I don't. Flannery persistently pleaded his innocence, 
vowing that he had no intention of bringing a firearm onto a flight, and even mentioned that his mother was a flight attendant. I'm a security guard, sir. I'm a jury. Okay. See how much jury I have on me? Listen. It's, it's, that's okay if you got that. The problem is it's bringing it into the checkpoint. Right, sir, Just have a seat that. for me. My mom's a flight attendant. Just have a seat. I would never do that, sir. Subsequently, a police officer arrived and the TSA agent briefed him on the situation, with the footage concluding as Flannery introduced himself to the second officer. If what you're telling me is true, we can work things out, okay? But there's procedures we have to follow. Uh, it looks like possibly two guns and a few mags. He's saying that he's an actor and he has private security guards. Does, does he have a security impact. weapons permission? No, no sir. he doesn't have a... Yes, sir. Right. His ID and everything is supposed to be in the bag. Yes, Ultimately, the actor-rapper was cleared of any wrongdoing and no charges were filed against him. Railroad crossings are typically equipped with a multitude of safety measures to alert individuals to the presence of an oncoming train. These precautions often include the lowering of crossing arms, flashing lights, and sometimes even the blaring of loud bells and whistles. Despite all these warnings, some individuals still exhibit the risky behavior of disregarding these signals. A striking example of this occurred in the tranquil town of Kostelik nad Orici in the Czech Republic, involving a motorcyclist named Yeti Dushka. On a routine trip to the local grocery store, Yeti's journey took a perilous turn. As he approached a hill, the glaring sun obstructed his vision, preventing him from discerning the nearby railroad crossing. Consequently, Yeti collided with the crossing arm, causing both him and his 1985 Simpson motorcycle to crash onto the railroad tracks. Fortunately, a compassionate passerby swiftly sprang into action, rescuing Yeti and his motorcycle from imminent danger. Shortly thereafter, a train arrived, coming to a halt precisely in the spot where Yeti had been. The hero of this story is a 32-year-old individual named Dalibor Vorbenik, who happened to be at the station much earlier than his usual schedule. Typically, he would be wearing headphones and stationed at the opposite end of the station, but on this particular day, he was positioned at the front without any music playing. This fortunate change in circumstances enabled him to react promptly upon hearing the collision. Thanks to Dalibor's swift response, Yeti only sustained minor scrapes and bruises. A few days later, they reunited to view the footage of the incident at the police station for the first time. An EF-1 tornado tore through Jilin province in Hubei County, with wind speeds reaching a maximum of 86 to 100 miles per hour. The storm expanded to a width of over a half a mile and lasted approximately 20 minutes, which proved to be sufficient to inflict significant damage. Fortunately, a few fortunate motorists managed to capture the entire event on video. <laughs> The tornado appeared more apocalyptic than a typical tornado, displaying an unconventional storm pattern, but the swirling rotations from the left to right were still discernible. In the aftermath footage, a crowd of people can be seen gathered around a bus that has been overturned, yet it was not the only vehicle affected by the tornado. Although not evident in the video, the tornado passed directly over the Yangtze River, resulting in the capsizing of a cruise ship carrying 400 passengers. Many of the travelers were elderly individuals on a leisurely journey between Nanjing and Chongqing. In January 2023, an incident took place in Pompton Lakes, New Hampshire, where a police officer's body camera recorded a house fire. Firefighters were engaged in extinguishing the blaze while the police maintained a safe perimeter to prevent onlookers from entering the area. Tragically, the house suddenly erupted with an explosion, with six firefighters still inside.
The firefighters endured injuries as a result of this harrowing experience, but thankfully, none of them lost their lives. On April 22, 2019, a seismic jolt of 6.1 magnitude struck Clark International, unsettling everyone within its vicinity. Travelers instinctively sought refuge, clutching their loved ones as they scattered to find cover. Unfortunately, some individuals became trapped as debris began cascading from the ceilings. Inside a bustling terminal filled with eager travelers, pandemonium erupted as the earthquake shook everything, including the surveillance cameras. One man found himself ensnared on a banister shortly after passing through security, nearly pulling the entire line down with him. In another corner, a security team dashed for cover, reacting to the sudden chaos. Debris and light fixtures rained from the ceiling, narrowly missing two women. Within the check-in area, people sought protection by covering their heads, anxiously hoping for the best. Towards the end of the line, a few men narrowly escaped outside just before the roof caved in above them. The aftermath of the check-in and departure areas left no doubt that the formidable earthquake had wreaked havoc upon Clark International Airport. There's a compelling rationale behind the prohibition of smoking at gas stations, and unfortunately, one customer had to learn this lesson the hard way. As evident in the surveillance footage, the incident took place in Turkey. The man had just finished refueling his car with gasoline. Rather than driving away, he made the ill-advised decision to light a cigarette. The consequences were swift, as flames swiftly consumed his vehicle. Fortunately, the man was able to open the car door and escape, with horrifying waves of flames emanating from the vehicle. Promptly, the gas station attendants rushed to his aid, armed with fire extinguishers, in an attempt to stop a catastrophic explosion. Their quick response successfully extinguished the flames before they could spread further. The man, albeit with burns on his face and hands, was taken to the hospital but was otherwise in stable condition. If this incident serves as a motivation for him and others to quit smoking, it's a poignant reminder of the dangers involved. In Southern Africa, a group of men embarked on a serene canoeing adventure that took a distressing turn. What initially appeared to be a routine encounter with a crocodile escalated into a life-threatening ordeal. As they paddled along the narrow river, the man capturing the incident on video experienced a sudden surge of fear when he noticed a massive crocodile head emerge from the water in the distance. Oh. Oh, oh, right there, big, huge. With a trembling hand, he zoomed in to capture the colossal size of the reptile just before it abruptly vanished back into the murky waters. It's coming around, it's coming around. It's coming this way. <laughs> Regrettably, the camera ceased recording at this point, leaving the subsequent events shrouded in mystery. A shirtless individual led the LAPD on a pursuit that would likely amuse Arnold Palmer. It featured a golf cart zipping through the streets of California's San Fernando Valley, closely tailed by police. According to authorities, the man behind the wheel was a suspect in cases involving an assault with a deadly weapon and grand theft. This somewhat comical, low-speed chase persisted for nearly 10 miles. Notably, the golf cart did not carry golf clubs, but it did have an unexpected passenger, a dog seated on the suspect's lap, adding an extra layer of peculiarity to the situation. Even driving against traffic and running red lights did not prevent authorities from ultimately catching up with the golf cart. Their moment to intervene came when the suspect entered the premises of a 7-Eleven and a sushi restaurant, leaving the golf cart behind as he fled on foot while clutching the dog. Approximately 15 officers converged to apprehend the suspect, yet it only took two of them to secure the dog. The dog was subsequently returned to the suspect's family. But honest question, who tries to escape the police in a golf cart? Come on, people. The video captures two dirt bikers navigating a secluded forest trail. Throughout the footage, the bikers are observed riding at incredible speeds, a choice that would soon prove to be potentially life-threatening. As they pressed on along the path, they encountered an unexpected hazard, a steel cable suspended between two trees precisely neck level for the approaching bikers. At a sufficient velocity, this snare would unquestionably pose a fatal risk to anyone who failed to notice it. 
Fortunately, the leading biker did stop in time and reacted swiftly to avoid the peril. The bikers deliberated whether to remain at the scene, possibly to confront the person responsible for setting up the trap. However, in the end, they chose to continue on their way. The identity of the individual behind this dangerous setup remains unknown. As a man waited at the Starbucks drive through to collect his morning coffee, he became an unwitting witness to a significant explosion. His dashboard camera recorded the entire incident. In the footage, a building located across the street experienced a dramatic roof detonation. Debris was propelled into the sky and scattered onto the streets. Notably, police later discovered debris that had traveled more than 100 yards away from the explosion. The thing I thought was, well, it's a crazy explosion, but then also how many people are in there because that is a life-ending explosion. At the time of the explosion, four individuals were inside the building. Miraculously, they all survived the blast despite sustaining severe injuries. The root cause of the explosion remains shrouded in uncertainty. The video was captured on a dimly lit road at night, and it's inferred that the individuals behind the camera commenced recording when they spotted an approaching clown. As the clown neared their vehicle, they cautiously moved forward and began shouting at the clown. The clown then ventured off the road, retrieving an undisclosed item hidden in the adjacent field. The person operating the camera continued to film as the clown reappeared on the road, now brandishing a chainsaw. Panic set in as they frantically attempted to drive away. This video potentially depicts a spirit rising upwards following a patient's passing, making it a remarkable and intriguing occurrence. The individual lies on a stretcher in a dimly lit corridor, covered with a sheet, with their motionless feet protruding from the lower end. The scene is tranquil and serene, until, unexpectedly, a faint spirit seems to emerge from the body. This apparition appears to be cloaked, its face shrouded from view. Does this signify our appearance when we transition to the next realm? Do we relinquish our identity, including our facial features? After the apparition sits upright, it slowly ascends, clad in what seems to be white robes, while the body remains behind. The spirit drifts away, perhaps to an encounter with the unknown, its robes trailing gently in the wake. Opinions across the internet have been divided regarding the veracity of this assertion. Some suggest that such an effect could be created through special effects and editing, while others firmly believe that the video provides evidence of a departing spirit from a physical body. Continuous passenger requests, complaints about delays, a lack of attentive staff, and various other annoyances. Working in the service industry can be challenging, and when it comes to service jobs at high-altitude flights, the challenges can be even more daunting. However, there is no justification for the alarming outburst of an American Airlines flight attendant, which led three passengers to dial 911 seeking assistance. The said flight attendant reportedly experienced a mental breakdown and was captured on video making threats over the intercom system. This has not happened to me since 9-11 and I'm not putting up with this! Somebody call 911 security system. I'm about to kill passengers before takeoff! Stop. Stop. I have been finally trained by the FCA. One of the passengers who contacted 911 reported that they had heard discussions over the radio about intentionally crashing the plane. In an attempt to clarify, one dispatcher asked, Are you currently on board the flight, and the flight attendants are announcing over the PA system that they intend to crash the plane? Fortunately, American Airlines Flight 2332 was still on the ground in Dallas and had not yet taken off. 
Some concerned passengers took it upon themselves to restrain the flight attendant after the 911 dispatchers discerned what was happening. Amidst the chaotic phone calls from passengers, the flight returned to the gate and the problematic flight attendant was subsequently removed from the aircraft. What's unfolding within this eerie hotel? YouTuber Lewis Clark has shared a video that compelled the team to contact the police. Let's delve into the situation. Basically, smelled something a bit funny as I came in the room. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Oh, in a hotel room, there is a seemingly lifeless body discovered in the shower. Their primary suspect at this point is the hotel cleaner. We don't want her just walking in. That's the problem. We can't have her just walking in because she'll probably try and kill you. That's the problem. The reason she'll probably try and kill you is because... However, when they confront the cleaner, she manages to elude them. Bro, she's running down, she's running down, she's running down, she's running down. She's literally running down right now. She's running down. Just get her. We need to beat her. I'm going to go after her. I'm going to go after her, okay? Will she evade consequences completely? It appears likely, as she somehow vanishes without a trace. Is Clark trapped in this situation? It certainly appears so, and judging by her modius operandi, there's a possibility that these individuals might become her next targets. While this video may have elements of a staged production, it still sends shivers down my spine. The following video was captured by a security guard who was monitoring the factory's surveillance cameras. Something extraordinarily unusual caught his attention. Although there was a welder working alone, there was something unsettling about the situation. The security guard scrutinized the footage more closely and felt a growing sense of unease as he watched the unfolding events. He promptly summoned the welder to view the video and provide an explanation for the bizarre occurrence. Yet, much like the security guard, the welder found himself utterly perplexed. This unsettling incident transpired during the night shift, intensifying its eeriness. Aside from the welder, no one else was present in the factory. However, the welder mentioned that another welder who had the day off had dropped by for a visit. They engaged in a brief conversation before the security guard beckoned the welder over to watch the footage. But upon viewing the video, the welder was left at a loss for words. Here's what the video revealed. It turns out that the other welder who had come to say hello was not actually physically present. The welder on the camera claimed to have seen the other worker in full work attire, as if he were ready for a shift. They even shook hands, as per his account. Nevertheless, when they reviewed the footage, there was no trace of the other person. This perplexing story takes an even more unusual twist when they learn the fate of the worker who was believed to have taken the day off. Apparently, news reached the factory that this worker had passed away in his own home. The cause of death remains a mystery. The fact that he died on the very day of this inexplicable incident has left the welder feeling deeply unsettled. Could it be possible that the spirit of the deceased worker visited his friend during the shift? Or is there another explanation for this entire occurrence? Like many such videos, the question remains without a definitive answer. A YouTuber who goes by the name Black Dark Claws alleged that they acquired this weathered antique doll at a garage sale. Upon introducing it to their home, both the YouTuber and their spouse began to experience unusual sensations solely from its presence. What follows is the account of a particular day when they decided to record it. While there is a possibility that this video involves stop-motion photography, 
The fluidity of the movements appeared to surpass the typical results of such special effects. It's also conceivable that a thin piece of string was employed, even though that method doesn't usually yield such seamless results. If this footage is fabricated, it's undeniably quite convincing. At approximately 4.42 a.m., an agitated-looking individual entered the laundromat and headed directly to the counter with the intention of committing theft. However, during the course of the incident, a staff member of the store chanced upon the thief and attempted to intervene. In the midst of their struggle, the perpetrator seized a hammer and forcefully struck the store employee on the head. This act of violence enabled the thief to flee the laundromat without being apprehended. This doesn't rule out the possibility of another issue if this isn't related to worms. Late at night in this subway, a concerned passerby captured a moment when a rat hurried across the floor. While that alone was repulsive, the situation deteriorates as the individual continues to record. It remains uncertain whether these two rats are the only ones present or if there might be additional rodents inside the establishment. It's apparent that this place is unclean or may have some openings through which the rats are gaining access. In any case, it's safe to say that you might want to think twice about purchasing a sandwich, whether it's a six inch or a foot long from this downtown Boston subway. The low prices of the sandwiches hardly seem worth the true cost, now does it? A group of tourists finding themselves pursued by a bear family is quite a sight. It's evident that these individuals are in a state of panic, with the mother bear persistently chasing them, presumably to ensure the safety of her cubs. Even the bear cubs join in, playfully pursuing the people as they desperately attempt to escape. This could have been seen as endearing if we weren't aware of the destructive potential of these furry creatures. It appears, though, that these bears are more curious than angry or hostile, and they eventually depart after a prolonged session of play. Just another typical day in Yellowstone National Park, it seems. The horror genre is flooded with movies that heavily rely on shadows to maintain an aura of dread. This reliance is evident because once the audience catches a glimpse of the monster, the tension dissipates, often resulting in a CGI spectacle or something bordering on comical. The video posted by the user Shortest Blockbusters falls in line with films like Midsummer that subvert this trope by presenting the horrors openly and plainly. Granted, the monsters may appear somewhat absurd and artificial. We're well aware that it's a digitally created entity. However, this does not diminish the Suedo jump scare's terrifying impact as it rushes towards the camera. For a brief moment, in a first-person perspective, we become the person behind the camera, and suddenly, the monster is charging straight at us. Dan Cedron has maintained an active YouTube channel for several years. On this channel, his primary content centers around reviewing various tech equipment and documenting adventures he shares with his friends. Periodically, he ventures into the realm of extreme caving. In this particular video, a warning is issued for those with claustrophobia as he embarks on a solitary expedition to the Warsaw Caves in Ontario, Canada. This cave consists of lengthy, narrow passageways and sections suitable for intrepid splunkers. See if there was a day to do something in the rain, this is it. That's bone. That's a fossil. <laughs> the footage reveals the remarkably tight spaces he navigates and undertaking such an excursion alone is likely not advisable. Is this a manifestation of pure malevolence? YouTuber Bajon shares a chilling paranormal incident that unfolded within their modest Caribbean home. Focus your attention on the mattress.
It appears as though an unseen force depresses it and sets it trembling. But that's not all. A deodorant stick inexplicably shifts across the table, and to add to the eerie spectacle, a fan initiates its rotation without any apparent reason. It's worth noting that the fan is unplugged and the fan switch mysteriously flips on by itself. Some individuals in the comment section express skepticism about the occurrence, pointing out that the mattress is positioned too far from the camera frame to determine if a real person might be on it. Nevertheless, the enigma of the fan's behavior remains unexplained. All in all, this appears to be a potentially genuine paranormal activity in my view. A YouTuber by the name of C. Fields 33 recorded a severe storm in Gray, Tennessee, when the wind's intensity significantly increased. Whoa. In less than half a minute, the wind became deafening and a calamitous sight unfolded before him. A tornado touched down in his front yard. and swiftly moved between his residence and his neighbor's house. The likelihood of the tornado threading through the houses instead of directly striking them is excessively low. According to the account, the tornado uprooted three trees and overturned an RV. Both Seafields 33 and his neighbor can consider themselves exceptionally fortunate. Clearly, the tornado possessed enough force to potentially carry the YouTuber away, underscoring the importance of his timely retreat into his house. The Cuban government released footage captured outside its embassy in Washington, D.C., which they claim shows an individual igniting and hurling two Molotov cocktails over the fence. Cuba's foreign minister reported that there was no damage to the building and no injuries were sustained. On X, formerly known as Twitter, he referred to the perpetrator as a terrorist. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan also denounced the attack, deeming it unacceptable and offering ongoing security measures. The Cuban embassy remained closed for over half a century, but was re-established as an embassy in 2015 after President Obama renewed diplomatic relations with the island nation. In a separate incident in 2020, the embassy faced another attack when a Cuban man seeking asylum discharged an AK-47, firing around three dozen rounds that caused damage to the building's exterior. Fortunately, there were no injuries in that incident. The Secret Service is currently conducting an investigation into this most recent occurrence. In this fishing video, a man submerges his head in the water, attempting to catch a fish from a muddy bed using only his hands. However, an unexpected incident occurs. There's an ongoing online debate regarding the authenticity of this video, with some speculating that the man deliberately placed the live snake on his nose himself. My take on it is, if he allowed an actual water snake to clamp onto his nose while his companion pulled and tugged at it, then he deserves credit. That, in my opinion, is genuine enough. Furthermore, towards the video's conclusion, we can clearly observe the snake swimming away, leaving no doubt that it was indeed a real snake. Several pieces of jewelry from the now vulnerable store. The security footage also captured a moment of intriguing confrontation. After the suspects make their hasty exit into a dark colored vehicle, the store owner emerges from the premises, brandishing a sword. This dramatic twist adds an element of intrigue to the unfolding events as the owner takes matters into their own hands following the criminal act. I hope he didn't bring a sword to a gunfight. A YouTuber by the name of Dehi found himself dealing with an unusual new neighbor who exhibited bizarre behavior since recently moving in. Despite the presence of a private gated entrance, this neighbor surreptitiously scales his wall and initiates awkward conversations as though this behavior was perfectly normal. Is it, are you actually for real? I mean, this is the stuff. 
In one instance, she mentions a desire to see his dog, but Dehi promptly intervenes to clarify things. Towards the end of their interaction, she utters something that's rather unclear and reaches out to him. I'm unsure about what she's trying to convey during this moment. Cool, yeah, yeah, dog, yeah? cool, cool. Uh, go, yeah. Back, go back the way you can. That, that you mean? No. Go, go back the way you can. The entire encounter leaves us wondering whether this neighbor's behavior is a result of social awkwardness or hints at potential mental instability. In any case, Dehi firmly directs her to climb back over the wall, which many might agree as an appropriate response to the situation. I personally would have let her leave through the front door, but that's just me. Let me know what you think about this neighbor in the comments. A resident residing in an apartment dialed 911 to report an incident involving a male, who was forcefully knocking on a neighboring apartment door. The caller described the male as shouting for someone to open the door while using profane language. Additionally, the caller mentions that the male's actions included banging on the walls and stomping around. The address of your emergency? Um, it's an apartment complex, and I don't know what's going on, but he's banging all over, talking about can open the door. He is just really it's disturbing, loud, and it does not sound like something. Okay, does he sound like he's inside, or maybe he's outside of the front door? No, he sounds like he's inside because we can I can hear him. Okay, what was it that he's saying? And open the door. Uh, he's just cussing up a storm, but he's loud and he's banging on all the walls. Okay. Upon receiving this report, police promptly proceeded to the location and approached the specific apartment from which the disturbance was originating. They then proceeded to knock on the apartment door. After a brief pause, the person responsible for the disturbance, identified as 19-year-old Robert Aries, opened the door. As he did so, it became apparent to one of the officers that Aries was holding a handgun in his right hand. Uh, hey, dude, put that, put that back. Aries was making direct eye contact with the officer. Rather than immediately dropping the handgun, Aries concealed it behind his right leg. Uh, hey, dude, put that, put that back. Dude. Shots fired off himself. Shots fired off himself. Hey, come out with your hands up, man. Let's see your head. Come out. Come out with your hands up. Hey, dude, turn around. Turn around. Come down there. Go down on your knees. Down on your knees. Down. Put your hands on your head. Hands on your head. And now flat. Flat on the ground. Flat on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, last right. Are you hit? No. I'm scared, bro. Put your other hand behind your back. Is there anybody else in the house? No. Fortunately, Aries was not harmed by gunfire and sustained no injuries. Subsequently, he was taken into custody and charged with two felony violations resulting in the possession of a handgun. He was then booked into the Coise Bird Detention Center. Can you imagine a person showing a cop a gun and then trying to just cutely hide it behind his leg in today's world? That's crazy. Hi, how you doing? Hey, dude, put that, put that back. Is that a gun, Bobby? An object descended from the sky, leaving our driver in a state of disbelief as he exited the car. He might have been pondering why the heavens appeared to resemble downtown Zhuhai. Another individual hurried over to check the driver's well-being. As per reports, the driver had only sustained a broken ankle. From a different perspective, it is evident that the crane fell from a nearby construction site extending all the way across the road and posing a potential danger to pedestrians on the sidewalk. Presently, the cause of the crane's fall and the party responsible remain uncertain. What we can affirm is the driver's good fortune in escaping with his life. In the video, a group of soldiers were attempting to find cover from a sniper. One soldier, who appears to be somewhat heavier, moves in and out of cover. Another soldier playfully taunts him as if reacting to an explosion or gunshot. However, when the teasing soldier exclaims, boom, 
The heavy soldiers actually grazed on the arm by sniper fire. Witness the dramatic moment when a seemingly innocent push takes an almost tragic turn. Two friends were strolling along the street when one playfully shoves the other, causing her to tumble and land dangerously close to the path of an oncoming bus. It's truly a miraculous stroke of luck that she narrowly avoided being struck. Subsequently, the two friends share an emotional hug. Fortunately, the young woman emerges from the incident with only minor bruises. However, police are considering pressing charges against her friend for reckless endangerment. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends.